All right, we're going to start working on transitions. So when we do transitions, it's always an upward motion from our seat and our body. So when I ask her to go up into a gate, I always think my seat going up and over, over top of her ears. And that'll bring her up into gate. My calves follow. And then also when I go down, you know, as you watch, you know, as I'm talking, make sure when you watch her down transitions, I ride her down to a, that nice forward walk again. It's not a sudden walk. It's a slow going down to a more a nice powerful walk. And then that's an incorrect down transition. I'm just letting her fall to the ground. And you see that a lot. People will ask the horse to come up, like I'm going to ask her to do now. And see, now I'm having problems getting her to go up because our down transition was not very good. But I'm going to ask her to go up. And then when I've asked, when I just say, ah, or just, you know, stop riding, she has a really hard time. She falls to the shoulders. She falls on the forehand. So then when I ask her to go back up into gait, she's not in a position to go back up into gait. She's on her shoulder. She's not on her hind end. So now when I ask her to go down and do a down transition, I think of that more powerful walk that I had before. And you can see her chest stays up. She stays more on the rear end. She slows down from the rear end, not falling on the shoulders. There's another thing as we're going, a couple things I want you to watch. Whenever I ask her to do a transition down, watch her soften at the pole or, and start to soften her face. Like I'm going to come here and I'm going to ask her to go down and you can see her nose comes in and she softens, but I didn't ask anything with the reins. She ran into the reins and softened herself. She softened because her hind legs came more underneath herself and you can see as we're working, she's getting softer and softer in the brow, the head is coming down, the nose is getting a little bit more vertical and she's softening through the spine. Now I'm also going to show you some other transitions. Halt to back to ride forward. You know, these are all between gait transitions. So I'm going to halt. I ride forward to halt. Closed fingers. And now I ride off. Open fingers. Ride up and over top of her ears. My seat goes forward. When I ask her to halt, close fingers, stop my seat. Open fingers. Ride my horse forward. This starts to clarify the aids for halt and ride forward. Close fingers, halt my seat. I'm going to back up and that'll be a different demo some other day. And then ride forward. And you can see when I, I want you to watch her body position, how much she pushes off the rear end when I ask her to walk off. So I halt. And sometimes I back up, sometimes I don't. And you can see she really pushes and she'll soften at the pole. We also do I also can skip a gait. Like now I'm kind of working on from halt, probably to back, up right away back up into gait. You can see when she do, when it doesn't take much from me, the more I tighten, the harder it'll be for her to move forward. So I back up, and now I just ask her to go up into gait again. She really pushes off the hind end, and you can see, if you watch her hind legs are getting more and more underneath herself. You know, and this is only in a couple minutes, but just imagine doing this within your work and how much more engagement you can get. And you can see the gate becoming clearer and clearer. Oh, nice one, two, three, four, and it's getting smoother and smoother. If you watch my helmet from the beginning of the ride to now, it's even, it's, I don't move as much. And you can see as, as she's, as I get clearer and clearer with my aids, the better she can do. And the less movement you see I do. I don't have to kick. I don't have to spur. You know, and on a rule, this mare is a little bit lazier, but you could see she is able to do this pretty easy. And then she gets softer and softer in the bridle. So I hope this helps you guys. We're just working on transitions between gates. You know, halt to walk, walk to gate, and back. Thank you guys.